Hey everybody, it's Kathy. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've just been crazy busy. Um, anyhow, I'll get right to it. I'm trying to make these shorter. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do um, a quick informational video on eczema. I know I did one recently on rosacea, so this is all about eczema, everything you ever wanted to know. Um, so here's the thing. A lot of people suffer from eczema. It's also known as atopic dermatitis. That's kind of what you call it when there's an issue and you're not positive what's causing it, what it's from. But I always uh, suggest to people who are who are dealing with really severe eczema that it might be worth going in for some allergy testing, particularly food allergies, um, because that's something that is often overlooked. Um, so I want to just get that out right now. But if you're dealing with, with eczema, usually the, the obvious things that you're told to stay away from and the changes to make are get rid of anything that's scented, um, no dryer sheets and no uh, liquid fabric softener. Those are things that, um, that really can cause a lot of agony for somebody with eczema. The dryer sheets, the reason for that is that they have a, a waxy substance that, if you recall, I've talked about how bad it is for acne, but it's also bad for eczema. It will really cause a flare-up. And when you consider that the sheets we sleep on, the clothes that we're wearing, you know, it's rubbing against our skin. If you have eczema, I'm sorry, but you got to get rid of all the dryer sheets and, uh, and the laundry softener. Um, perfumes, anything scented. You, you have to think in, in terms of doing uh, only gentle um, treatments to your skin. You really should not be doing any kind of manual exfoliation. Um, so, you know, these are all things to avoid getting a flare-up. In the winter time, though, you're going to have some flare-ups. If you have eczema, no matter what you do, you're going to have some issues during the winter. That's just the way it goes. If you don't know what eczema looks like, then just be glad because you don't have to deal with it. But those of you who have eczema probably know what it is and what it looks like, so I'm not going to really get into a description. But they can actually weep and um, ooze. And, and as you know, they itch like crazy. They can Once they start weeping, they can crack and, and they can stick around for months. An, an eczema spot can just be there for months. The most common places you see them on the insides of the elbows, the insides of the knees. You can get them on your face. Uh, really, you can have them anywhere. I see them on legs. Um, as m many of you have heard me say in the past, uh, my youngest son has had severe eczema since he was two months old. So I'm really, really personally um, familiar with this. So what can you do when you have a flare-up? And I call it a flare-up because that's kind of how eczema works. You may go through a period of time where you don't have any eczema spots and then all of a sudden where you get a whole bunch. Um, first thing is make sure that you're not using anything new um, and make sure that anything you're putting on your skin is not perfumed at all because that really is a big problem for you. Um, then no exfoliation and think in terms of repairing the lipid barrier. That lipid barrier is an oil barrier that's all over our skin, and that is what protects us from irritation, basically. And in people with eczema, they used to think that the best thing you could do was put on a very emollient, heavy, like night cream. And now the latest studies show that those night creams oftentimes can make it worse, that oils really are the way to go. Um, with my son, I use the Immerse by Osmosis whenever he has a bad spot because the oils seem to sort of penetrate nicely and then they put that protective barrier that keeps everything out and then it allows it to heal. Now I will tell you, if you have a bad flare of eczema, the only thing that's going to really speed up the whole clearing process is um, steroids, which would be, you know, you can go get some hydrocortisone over the counter, some 10%. It will work better than anything, but please be aware that you don't want to do it too often or for too many days in a row two days in a row, uh, that's it. Because really, it's not good to apply that to your skin too often. So what I tell people to do is save the cortisone creams for really bad spots that are really bothering you. If you have a, a just a small one, use an oil. Now, like I said, I like the Immerse, but you can use pretty much any oil. You could use good old olive oil out of your kitchen if you want. You can use coconut oil. You could use some shea butter. Um, you could probably use argan oil, which you know everybody has it now for their hair. You can just take a dab of that and put it on your skin. But oil is going to be your best defense once you have a little place on you that, that has eczema. Um, so really, that's 
the best advice I can give you, use an oil to replace that lipid barrier and be very gentle with your skin. And please, no microdermabrasion, no strong ingredients. You are somebody that, just like the people of rosacea, you have a difficult time using um, retinoids for aging. Um, as you know, Osmosis makes one that's specifically for skin that can't normally tolerate it. But other than the Osmosis one, I, I'm not aware of any others that, that your skin can tolerate very well. So keep that in mind. And also sunscreen. you got to wear sunscreen every day on the exposed areas. Um, so I hope this helps. But more than anything else, if you've never been allergy tested, go do that. With my son, he was literally head to toe as, at two months old, completely covered in eczema to the point where he looked like, like a burn victim. Um, at one point his eyes were swollen shut uh, it just eczema everywhere and weeping and bleeding I'd get him from his crib in the morning and there'd be blood all over the sheets from him clawing at himself and um, at one year old was a, the first time that they would allow me to have him allergy tested they said he had to be a year old which I later found that that's not really true but anyway when they tested him for allergies he has several uh, severe food allergies to very common things like wheat milk, eggs, um, there's a, it's a very long list, but as soon as I, I was nursing him, so as soon as he was taken off of all of those foods, he cleared up, and I had been using some very strong medications on him that weren't working. So I always tell people, if you've got eczema that's really bothering you, go do an allergy test. It's worth it. Um, so that's it. I hope this helps. As always, just write your questions below, and I'd be happy to answer any that I can. Have a great day.